welcome to tuition friend and today we are going to discuss the aptitude part of placement drives so as you all know uh, the aptitude plays a very important role uh, in the placement as uh, you have to just uh, pass the aptitude first then you can go in the next rounds okay so today we will be going to start with the number system first and uh, i will make a playlist for you so that you can prepare for your interviews and your aptitude and your coding classes as well so let's start this aptitude section and in which we are going to discuss the number system today so first of all uh, let me give you the introduction of number system first of all what we are going to study here that first of all you all need to know the uh, basic kind of things like how you can do the multiplication uh, in a very easy way and uh, uh, how you can square any kind of number also we will discuss here so in this video we will do this only so it is basically somehow a part of uh, Veda math and uh, so let's start this uh, first uh, section that we are going to discuss the multiplication so this is the first topic that we are going to discuss that how we can multiply any kind of number any kind of two number uh, in a very easy way or by which our time can be saved okay so let's take our first example okay so i am taking 107 and 103 okay now you all need to know that uh, this num these two numbers are somehow close to the 100 okay because when you will just add the 7 to 100 it will become 107 and when you will add the 3 then it will become uh, 103 okay in 100 only so this is somehow close to the 100 so i will uh, uh, suppose it uh, here you just need to mention a reference number that you are taking here okay so i'm just taking the 100 here so now what you all need to do is you have to just do 107 uh, into 103 what you need to do and just do one thing uh, to the reference number how much i add that it will become 107 it is plus 7 and similarly here plus 3 okay now what you all need to do is you have to just cross closely check each other and just add both both the terms okay 107 plus 3 equals to 110 okay and 103 plus 7 equals to 1110 so uh, remember one thing always that when we will just add these two uh, diagonally elements then it will definitely going to be equal okay so now uh, uh, yeah, after this what you have to do is you have to remember that our final uh, answer would be the number that that is uh, here like 1110 okay or 110 and multiply by reference number you have to just mention here the reference number that I have taken 100 okay I will just write it in the next line and what you have to do is you have to just take these numbers and multiply both of them so I'm just taking 7 multiply by 3 okay I'm just putting it down here 110 plus 21 so it will become the 11021 so uh, basically this is our first question so we have taken uh, uh, some time so uh, in the next question let's see we have another question 104 into 106 First of all try to do it uh, from yourself and then I will let you know how you can do it. So uh, what you have to do is plus 4 and this is plus 6. Just check it out you will get 110. Similarly here you will get 110 after adding these diagonally elements. Okay now final number would be my okay I have taken the reference number here is 100. Okay the final number would be our I have taken 110 multiply reference number is 100 and plus 4 into 6 so it would why what i would get is 11024 okay so this is how uh, it is very much simple than uh, uh, the 
common method that we do like 104 multiply 106 and then uh, 6 for the uh, 24 and 2 so uh, this is this takes too much time so we have this simple trick to do the multiplication method let's take another example of it uh, now uh, this time we will take uh, 92 multiply 97 okay what you need to do is you have to just similarly take uh, the close reference number to these values so the reference number would be 100 okay now what you have to do is you have to just check how much I subtract that it will become 92 so it will minus 8 and it will minus k 3 okay now uh, we have taken reference number we have uh, uh, calculated this so we what we have to do is diagonal elements to sum okay 92 minus 3 it will become 89 similarly it will become 89 so both are equal we can go for it so final number would be 89 multiply reference number plus sim uh, the multiplication of these elements so minus 8 minus 3 so what it become is 8900 plus 24 so what it is 8924 so this is this is how it is simple so uh, this is a simple trick that you can do the multiplication and uh, uh, for uh, more kind of uh, such questions you can visit to our website and now we are moving ahead to the another question okay now this time we are going to do the squaring okay okay before moving further uh, we can just have the practice of other questions too that is somehow similar to the multiplication method and uh, now let's take an example of it here like uh, we have 23 multiply by 12 so here uh, you cannot assume any kind of reference number close to it so what you can do here is you can just uh, uh, write these values like this 23 and 12 and then what you can do is you have to just make the three columns now multiply these two so 2 multiply 1 what uh, in this uh, in this block what you have to do is the cross multiplication of uh, both the both the sides so 2 into 2 uh, let me write it here 2 into 2 plus 3 into 1 okay similarly here 3 into 2 okay this side right here this side right here and the cross multiplication in between them so now it will become 2 2 2 4 and uh, 3 1 ja, 3 so it will become 7 and 3 2 ja, 6 so what it will uh, what i will get is 276 so this is the uh, this is the answer what uh, uh, how we can do it so now moving ahead we have uh, this this uh, method is uh, uh, we can say without carry method okay without carry we have not use any kind of carry here if suppose it is uh, uh, 6 into 2 then we will we will be having a carry here like 6 into 2 12 so where this one will go it will move to the next section so let's suppose uh, let us suppose a question uh, from this method 2 like 38 into 52 i have taken an example of it so this is basically with the help of carry because here we do not have any kind of carry so in this section we will be having a carry so let's do it here like we are having 38 multiply by 52 so what you will do is you have to just multiply it and make the three sections okay now 3 into 5 this side to here this side to here and similarly the cross multiplication would come here 3 into 2 plus 8 into 5 now uh, look here 8 into 2 it will become 16 so what we can write here is only 6 one will go in the carry with this section like it will add on here okay now let me write here 6 now let's do multiplication of 3 into 2 6 plus 8 into 5 40 46 plus 147 so I have to write the 4 only here and the plus 4 will give here 3 into 5 15 and 15 plus 4 19 so it would become 1976 so this is our whole answer that we were uh, in need so okay
after doing this this is these is the, these are the basic examples of how you can multiply uh, without wasting your time okay now we are moving ahead to the squaring section that if suppose we are given a kind of number and we have to square it so how we can do it so the section is squaring uh, it can be uh, done for any kind of number so what we need to remember is like we are given a number a b square like it is 1 2 ka square okay uh, let me draw the figure of it a square how you just write a plus b ka whole square how you just write it a square plus b square plus 2ab right so remember this thing and just apply it here a square 2ab and b square okay just remember this one and apply it in an, any kind of uh, squaring uh, number okay like we are having an example of 12 square so this is the question of our squaring method so what we can do is we have to just remember this formula a square a is 1 and b is 2 so what we can do is a square 2ab 2 to the 4 and this 2 1 2 let me write this so you cannot get uh, confused in here so like this we what we will get is 1 4 4 so this is how you can do the squaring of any kind of number okay now let's take another example of it so that it, it would be more clear to you so here we have 38 square so how we can do is first of all a b so a square and 2 a b and b square what i would get is similarly here you have to do the carry one like we have done in the uh, multiplication method here we have just uh, uh, transfer the carry from uh, uh, ones bit to the tens bit so then uh, we can do the same kind of thing here so like we are having 8 into 8 64 okay so 4 i have write down now 6 will get to this one plus 6 okay now 8 into 3 24 24 into 2 48 48 plus 6 it would become 54 so plus 5 will get here 3 into 3 9 9 plus 5 14 so uh, this is the answer of it okay so this is the method how we can do the multiplication and squaring of any kind of number so in the next video we will discuss how we can just uh, move on to the aptitude and do the uh, numericals in a very simple and very easy way okay so thank you so much if you are having any kind of doubt you can just ask it in the comment comment section and uh, uh, definitely i will be going to provide you the notes also if you will uh, ask it from me okay thank you so much